Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tide here, back again, once again with a brand new Halo Infinite video. Don't you love those intros? And today I want to talk about the Season 2 update that's coming in May. I believe they said 3rd, we'll get to that in the article. But first, if you have not already, 96% of you who watch my videos are not subbed to the channel. That's got to be one of the highest numbers across all of YouTube. So please, can we lower that number? And you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I do Halo content. That's pretty much what we're doing. I'm pretty much in it for the long haul, even though it kind of seems like a sinking ship. Who knows what's going to happen? Let's get into Season 2. So this article is from Joe Staten. I know a lot of people have already made videos on, you know, going over all the Season 2 stuff. So I'm going to, I'm just going to briefly go over it because I know you guys have already heard it. And then I'm going to include my thoughts, opinions, and kind of where I see them going with this. Because I think there is a clear path. This is not the roadmap either. Um, at least I hope it's not. I think that the roadmap is going to be a separate thing that's more than just Season 2, hopefully. Uh, kind of encompassing like the next year of Halo. So we'll see if uh, that comes out anytime soon. If, of course, you, you guys want, you know, content on that, make sure you sub. But here we go. They talk about the three pillars or priorities that they have, and that's, you know, addressing issues negatively impacting player experience, season two, May 3rd, I was right, and continuing to work on campaign co-op for season three. And priority zero is how they make sure that their work-life balance is good. I think that that's important as somebody who uh, has needed to i guess look at their own work-life balance uh, i completely understand so i'm not gonna hate on them for that i don't think that overworking people and crunch and all that stuff is good so uh basically they talk about each thing uh season two will be called lone wolves that's cool basically headhunters uh from the halo universe and i'm not gonna lie these this looks Oh my god, this is my, like, Spartan aesthetic. I love it, they're, like, slim, you know, the armor's not, like, super bulky and stuff. Um, cause I'm, I'm more of, like, a sleek guy, not a huge tank type of person, so I'm absolutely loving that concept art for them. Will they actually look like that? I have no idea, but, you know, it's new cores and stuff. Like, look at him holding the, the Covenant Alien Elite Blood Knife, hopefully. I don't think Brutes have purple blood but you can uh you can correct me in the comments down below um and then we get to see the new um like fractures core uh and he looks pretty pretty punky i guess very weird i'm curious as to what the lore is for him um because just like the yoroi armor he will have background and stuff um they're also giving us two maps announced right now and that's uh the btb map breaker and catalyst for arena and we also are getting some new game modes including last Spartan San standing a free-for-all elimination mode which basically sounds like attrition except it's free-for-all um man they are just inching closer and closer towards that battle royale aren't they uh land grab and king of the hill but it's updated so i assume that'll be kind of like how oddball was updated for halo infinite with the round, so we'll see what King of the Hill is like. King of the Hill is actually one of my favorite game modes, to be completely honest, so I'm actually excited it's coming back. This is obviously banished looking, um, and it looks like it's, I'm not sure what it's on, or if we'll be able to go down here, or if the map is primarily up here, we can walk on this stuff. I don't know, it's hard to tell from these pictures. This is uh, Catalyst, uh, and they say a paint over, so I'm not sure what that means, um, but, it looks cool, I guess. Uh, I'm happy that we're getting more alien-themed maps instead of just UNSC stuff everywhere. So this is like a, a classic-looking Halo map to me. Hopefully, it's good. Now, I don't think that um, two maps is great. We'll have more to share about the Season 2 maps, modes, customization options, and narrative content. I'm actually excited for the, na the narrative content. Uh, I think that the game needs more storytelling and world building. So that's fun um, in April as our marketing and promotional campaign kicks into gear. So hopefully, like, I, I really hope it's more than two maps. What I really hope is that the private forge stuff that they're flighting out to people, that they're going to include maps from them into the, you know, the, the rotation because Two maps, not enough. Not enough to break up the monotony, especially when we've been playing 
six months of the same three BTB maps, you know, it's just... It needs a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, but I think that that's something we're going to be seeing for a while uh, in regards to Halo Infinite. They didn't go on to talk about campaign co-op for Origin Season 3. I'm going to be completely honest with you all. I know that the couch split-screen co-op thing is like a Halo staple, but it's 2022, and I can't tell you the last time I sat down at my TV to play split screen with someone i get maybe the switch you know when i play mario kart but like for real for real i'm not having my friends over to play halo it, I, and i feel like you know people that were young back then in the original halo trilogy you know kids that same age today aren't playing like that so if that's really what's taking up a ton of dev time i, I almost would say that it's not worth it now the networking side you know like playing with four people across your you know computers and stuff like that and xboxes i think is definitely worth it i definitely think that they need to keep working on that but i'm just not a huge believer in the split screen stuff i'm sorry i'm sure that people will hate me for that but it's just my opinion they say that they're making great progress on forge or flighting it out to a small group like i said before um and that's looking like it's going to be in season three so i really think that season three is going to be a relaunch of the game i think that maybe they're stockpiling a ton of stuff for season three to make it seem like it's this huge new game and all this new stuff has come blah 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 blah. and i think that that is smart i do think that the game will need a relaunch of some kind just to kind of get that hype back around it uh there's a lot of other things that they need to work on especially if they want to regain that pc player population so We'll see what happens. We're also getting Tactical Ops uh, this week. So I'm recording this on Monday. So it's probably going to come out Tuesday. And it will probably come out after this is live. So if you guys want to go you know, check it out. If you want to watch me stream, I'll probably be streaming Tactical Ops this week. Twitch.tv slash Holotide underscore. Go check me out. It's in the description as well. So I think that that's cool. I like it. Uh, it's... A new event it's not you know the fiesta whatever um event or yeah so it's not like a repeat so i'm excited for something new i wish that there was like a new map or something i don't know but uh yeah that's that's pretty much it for the season two update joe staten you know he's he's doing it he's trying i guess i'm <laughs> I know a lot of people will yell at 343 that they should have the game taken away from them. I'm not a, a real believer in that, to be completely honest. I think that there are things that have prohibited them from realizing their super ambitious goal of what this game is. I'm not trying to make excuses either, um, because I had super high hopes for this game, and hopefully we reach them one day. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the show make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace